What's good YouTube, it's Moodboy and today we're back for a new bed lab tutorial. Today I want to mix two different styles, so I'm gonna blend drill and neo soul influences on the same beat. I'm gonna actually show you a quick preview. This is what we're gonna be doing today. So if you like it and if you're a beginner on BandLab, then this tutorial is for you. Let's not wait any longer, let's get straight into it, let's go! This time I'm gonna make the beat from scratch, so as you can see, I only have one track at the moment. First thing first, you wanna set your BPM. Here it's 144, so typical drill BPM is around 140 and let's say 150. That's your starting point. Then you want to add a virtual instruments track, which is what I did here. And I just chose the sound. I used a retro Juno pad. So this is the one. All right, quite cool. Now let's make the chords. So you want to click here at the bottom where it says MIDI editor. Okay, I'm going to firstly choose a scale and use the smart view. So. This way is gonna be way easier to make your chord progression because you only can see the right notes and they are all the notes of the same scale. So for example, this is a C major scale. So we're gonna be making a beat in C major. You can do the exact same chords if you want to. So the first one, it's in the key of C major, but the first chord is actually an F major seven. It's very easy to do if you follow along. So you want to make an F and then you want to add an A. By the way, you might not see here the A flat. This is an extra note we're going to be adding later on. F, A, C and E. So simple chord F, A, C and E. It's always the same pattern if you want to make a chord. You just want to skip one note in between each note. Okay, this is how you can make it. Now let's use the same principle for the second chord. But this time we're going to make a D minor chord. So you need a D. Okay. And then an F. As you can see, I skipped one note here. I want to skip a note again, and there we have an A. And this is a D minor. Now, I just added one extra note, but it's actually a D. So it's our root note. But instead of playing it here, I'm also going to play it an octave higher. And this is the one. So as you can see, we have a D here at the bottom and here as a top note. It just sounds a bit bigger like that. So this is why I added this extra D note here. Okay, moving on to the third chord, which is a C major seven. So C, E, G and B. Easy A. You also want to make sure that you have one chord per bar. So first one should be where it says bar one here. Second chord here where it says two. Third chord here. Okay, and if you put the metronome here, then it should sound like this. And to finish this chord progression, we have here, as you can see, on the third beat of the fourth bar, we have another chord, which is a G major chord. Very easy, G, B, oops, sorry. G, B, and D. This 
Then when you have this, you can just copy and paste it and we're gonna tweak it a bit on the second repetition. But for now, I can copy and paste it. Or if you prefer, you can just keep it like that and loop it like that as a four bar loop. But here I wanna make it a bit more interesting, so I'm gonna spice it up. So same thing here. And we're gonna change this chord here. Instead of a C major seven, I wanna play an E minor chord. So you guessed it, we need an E. And then you can do again the trick I just showed you. So skip a note, then we have G, skip a note, and we have a B. To have this soulful touch to it, we want to add seventh. So it's basically just the next note before the octave. So we have D here, and then the next note should be the octave, which is E. Okay. So that's an E minor chord. And this is an E minor seven chord. A bit more soulful, jazzy. And for the last chord, I wanna make something different. If you want, you can just keep the G chord. But if you want a bit more of a challenge and if you want to make it more soulful, jazzier, then you can add a diminished chord. To do that, let me show you. We're gonna add an extra note, as I said. But firstly, we need a D. Again, I put it here on the third beat. So D. Just gonna make the chord and I'm gonna show you. This should be the one, D. F A flat, which is not in the C major scale. This is why we have it like that on the piano roll. And then we have a B. It sounds like this. It's really just a last chord to add a lot of tension before resolving to the first chord. You can really replace it with a G chord. It does the same job but this has way more tension to it. So let's listen to the whole thing. There we go. Let's add a lead on top of it. So a melody line, add track virtual instruments, and let's see what we can do. I'm gonna go with leads. There are a lot of options, as you can see. Let's try this one. And let's use the smart keys. Again, it's in C major. So this way you can only be in tune. Let's put an octave higher. Actually, I'm gonna change it, I think. Let's record something very simple. And then I'm gonna change it here. So out of time.
Let's keep it very simple like that. And copy and paste it, I guess. Just try to find something very simple that works well. So keep it simple, especially if you're new to making melodies and mostly use your ears to know what sounds good and what doesn't sound great. But I'm feeling something like this. It does the job. Now, if you want to, you can add some effects to just make it sound a bit nicer, let's say. Uh, let's go for a reverb. Atrium. And a delay. And a tape simulator to have a vintage touch. Let's do the same thing here. So tape simulator. And then reverb, univerb. Okay, something like that. Let's add the bass on top of it, so I'm feeling something simple with a kind of retro synth again. A simple bass, but that sounds vintage. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, here on synth basses. Let's go with this one, which is called Boog Bass. I guess it's a Moog Bass emulation. Yeah, anyway, Smart View is on again. And let's just make the root note to start with. So, if you remember correctly, we have, we have, we have an F, which is here can play it lower let's zoom out so F then we said what was it again D I think and C if it's too low you can play it an octave higher of course Then it was a G, you can put it here. Let's copy and paste that and change here. It was not a C major, but it was an E minor. And 
and at the end I can keep the same note here, the G. As I said it's a diminished chord but it really acts as a G7 dominant chord. So G on the bass. There we go, I'm gonna keep it very very straightforward. If you want to, you can make the bass a bit more interesting, but there was already quite a lot of information, so I'm gonna keep it like that. It's a tutorial for beginners. There we go for the bass, and now I can add the drums. And to do that, I wanna go on add track. I'm gonna make the drums from scratch. So let's use the sampler. Here you can drag and drop your drum samples, or you can import it from here. Bandlab sounds, you can look for a trap pack or a drill sample pack, but let's go on one shot, that's important. Yeah, let's search it like that, so kick and can I have a filter maybe with trap samples? Yes, I can here. Okay, and there we go. I can use this one for example. Now we can look for something else, a snare drum this time. This one. For the hats, the rim shot, I'm gonna import my own samples but you can do the same thing on BandLab as you've just seen. At the moment I have those samples. And let's make a simple beat. I think with this style and with this BPM, you can either go for like a jersey beat or a drill beat. So if you wanna make a jersey beat, you wanna have a kick on every beat and just at the end here, I'm gonna place this one here. Okay, something like that. So this would be a jersey beat. And then of course, copy and paste. And then you add all your elements on top of it. If you wanna go for a drill beat, just start with your hats, so can do it like that. One hat, skip two, one hat, skip two, one hat, skip one. Then you wanna repeat that, boom. You can make it quieter here on the sampler and just turn down the volume. Then you want to tweak a bit your hats, so for example, you can do something like that. And play a bit with the velocity, so this one, I want to make it quieter. I'm gonna use this hat and this would be the four bar loop. Then you can have the snare drum. So you want to place it here on the third beat and for a trap beat you want to put it every third beat but for a drill beat you want to have it on the third beat and then usually you have it here on the fourth beat as well. Again, a good starting point for drill beats but then you can really change it a bit. For example, you can have it here on the four end. This way you add an off beat and it just add more bounce to your drums.
and of course kick drum Something like that, for example. You know what? I'm just gonna change the kick sample because I don't really like it. Let me find something else. Maybe this one. This is more punchy. There we go for the drums. Then it's completely up to you, but you can either loop it like that or if you prefer, you can do a good old copy and paste and tweak a few things on the repetition. This would be like that. And then this is the first part of your loop here from one to five and from five to nine, this is the second part. So you can change here, for example, the and here, maybe you can get rid of the snare and have only the kick. And have something like that. Boom, boom. And maybe add an extra snare here. This way you avoid your drums sounding too repetitive and you have an eight bar loop instead of a four bar loop. At this point, I have all my elements for my beat. So we made the chords, we made a melody line, a bass and the drums. Those are all the elements that you need. There we go, we have our soulful drill beat. At this point, you can make a simple structure. For example, you can start with the chords, then you add the bass, and then, for example, you add everything together. So chords, melody line, bass, and the drums. That's it for today's tutorial. I hope you liked it and that you've learned a lot of new things. Tell me what you think of the beat in the comments. As usual, you can have access to my Bandlab sessions on Patreon. And if you wanna support me for free, you can just subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching this video. I see you very soon for a new tutorial. Stay tuned. Take care. Bye bye.